rainy and rather frosty winter session of the parliament come to an end yesterday and it was a, an absolute washout. Uh, the crucial economic reform bill like the GST is still pending and we had a lot of infighting in the BJP as well which was quite a mess. Shekhar Gupta, the editor and columnist uh, joins us now to talk about that. Shekhar, hi, good afternoon and good speaking to you after a long time. Uh, you know, uh, on one hand, uh, it's, it's a big disappointment that the GST bill could not get passed and on the other hand, you had issues like the BJP MP Kirti Azad's dismissal uh, after making those public statements about corruption, etc., uh, that raises a lot of concerns about infighting going ahead. Uh, how, how did you read into all of this? Well, first of all, while there is no excusing uh, the Congress party's, uh, I would say, almost a parliamentary criminality in blocking one more session uh, over different issues but nothing that looks so life and death that they to block another session of parliament having said that bjp has also begun to look like a party which is a bit like a bull that carries its own china shop because uh, <laughs> this was a winter winter session where they needed to get stuff done one major state election is over the other ones are not not on for some time so this was this this was a time of peace that they wasted uh, Many of the things which gave Congress party the excuse to, to disrupt uh, could have waited for this part uh, till the end of this session. And frankly, it's not just a question of discipline within the, within the BJP. There is, there is, there is dis dissidence and it is indiscipline. But more importantly, is there a centralized strategic thinking in the BJP, in the government, as well as, 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 well, as, well as the party in terms of how much political capital should you expend on your already demolished adversaries as against how much you should preserve for getting your governance agenda taken forward. I would have preferred, I mean, I'm sure everybody would have preferred if the BJP had been a little patient, taken a deep breath and left political battles for maybe till a couple of sessions later. Okay. Shekhar, then what's your sense on the GST and the budget session? Can we see any headway? Look, at some point GST will happen. In, in fact, there are some differences and I still believe that Congress has some valid points. Uh, there are some differences and really if BJP wants it done, uh, BJP can get it done in the budget session. But you know, budget session uh, will begin in February, third week. Around that time, 20th of February is the next date for National Herald case. Uh, so things can go there and there, but I, I really think that if the Congress tried to block one more session over something like National Herald, the rest of the opposition will not be with them. In fact, it's my information that leaders uh, of most major parties in the rest of the opposition have conveyed it to the Congress party that they, will, they cannot go along with this persistent blocking. And frankly, most of them, uh, most of them are now uh, happy with uh, GST. Uh, so I think it will be very, very tough for Congress to keep on blocking it. But blocking it. But when I said this the last time for winter session, I had said this is barring some totally unforeseen events. And this time, those unforeseen events did happen. Uh, and I'm really disappointed that you know this Arunachal had to be bring that to be brought to a head now. Arunachal Assembly session was due in some time. Uh, if the government was to fall, could have fallen then. Uh, if, court date could be always uh, adjourned for two weeks later. I don't know if anybody's thinking at the top in the BJP uh, or or maybe this is the strategic uh, political objective they've set for them that govern as much as you can executively but meanwhile completely demolish uh, your opponents so and bury them so they can never come back. Shikhar, just one final question, you know, before we run out of time, uh, what, what are you reading in terms of what's the next for Arun Jaitley? Because clearly Kirti Azad's comments have not gone unnoticed. We've seen scathing comments come in from Arvind K. Jival, etc. Uh, what are you picking up on that? Well, I think in our politics, uh, if people start losing their jobs because people make scathing comments about them, <laughs> yeah. uh, that would be very tragic. People have to come with people have to come up with evidence not just of mismanagement, but also evidence of wrongdoing and evidence of either graft or having made money, etc., etc. So from whatever you see right now, even from Kejriwal, uh, that is not there. The idea, the, the everything is about mismanagement, about bad accounting, about fake bills, about but nobody is saying that Arun Jaitley took money home. And frankly, uh, we must always remember, and I say this with care, and I say it as a cricket fan, uh, so I have a, plus a Delhi Wala cricket fan, so I have a great vested interest in Delhi cricket doing well. Okay. The fact is that not a pass-off, this is government money. <laughs> this is a, uh, it's a, 
it's uh, so so there are compliances required for a section 25 company etc 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 but we should not lose uh, the perspective at the same time we should also not forget that delhi cricket is a place where not long ago uh, in the under 22 tournament delhi fielded 36 players in four matches so mm. those who now talk about <laughs> hera ferries in selection when delhi is doing so well have to remember who delhi's chief selector was at that point Okay. All right, Shekhar, on that note, we're going to wrap up this conversation. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining in and wish you a good festive season as well. Time for a break now, but on the other side, we'll get you uh, plenty of uh, stock picks and something from the markets as well. CNBC.